But right now, it's it, the Norwegian PE teacher is not going to lead them to success. Okay. For our first topic, should Ole Gunnar Solskjaer be sacked from his position as manager at Manchester United? Bo, what are you thinking? Oh, 100%. There is no doubt that that man should not be in the job. And they're, they're, I can give you multiple reasons why. I'm just going to... First, I'm just going to paint this picture for you. Let's take all 20 teams in the Premier League. All right, we take all 20 teams and we just take their managers away from the teams. When you compare manager next to manager in the Premier League, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has the worst resume of all of them. Well, I mean, okay. Try. I just want like pull up a manager, like any manager you can think of, and try and like and and just say like. I can't dispute, honestly, I can't dispute that, but, all right, I'm gonna give him a little credit. He has done a decent job at the beginning of his time with Manchester United. He has a 52% win percentage, which is not good, but it's not t terrible either. He hasn't been able to fully implement his, um, just his plan into the team. And I think, I think he is running a fine line between potentially being sacked and Obviously, if it keeps on going down, we're going to have to look to make a move. But my argument is, hey, what are, if we sack him now, what is going to be our replacement? We're going to be stuck without a manager for the rest of the season and probably just going to have a shit season. So let's give him the opportunity to turn it around. If it doesn't work out by the summer, we, we get players in the winter transfer window. If it doesn't work out by the summer, then, hey, we're looking to move to maybe Pochettino, try and find a different manager. But I think right now, I don't think it's the time to do it. Well, I think when, when you look at Man United and you look at, you look at all the problems post-Fergie mm -hmm. time, um, <laughs> post-Fergie time, the problems with United, they're not necessarily with the coaches that they've hired. They've hired some high-quality coaches. I mean, you look at Mourinho, you look at Van Hal, I mean, David Moyes, David Moyes, David Moyes, but you look at those two, Mourinho and Van Hal, those are top quality managers that performed at the highest level as managers. I think the problem with United starts at the very top. At what word? They have no plan. They have absolutely no plan. I mean, post Ferguson, they were just signing whoever was on the market. I mean, Falcao, Di Maria, even Alexis Sanchez. I mean, you look at the, the times they made those signings, they were terrible signings. Yeah. There, was no, there was no plan. It was just, let's get these guys because they're big names. Let's bring them in. And they're terrible. I yeah. mean, not one of them worked. And the fact that they still pay Alexis Sanchez 500K a week, half a million pounds a week, for him to play in Italy yeah. is crazy. And, and that's, just, that's just a football club that has no structure and no plan. So, yes, I think you can say, like, I'm not blaming this on Skullscard, not at all. But do I think there are other managers out there that can do a better job? Yes, because I don't think I don't think he's a good manager. I think he he's a nice story coming from United. He's you know the the legendary super sub. But you don't think he has the pedigree and the quality and the experience to really lead a club like Manchester United? Is absolutely, that absolutely not. And and I think what you're seeing now is a a bad team put together by Ed Woodward and the guys at the top of, of Man United mm -hmm. and be a bad manager that does not know what to do with these players. Okay. And and that's what's resulted in this abomination yeah. of a team. I mean let me let me piggyback off what you're saying. So a hundred percent. I've been saying for a little while now, Ed Woodward is the prob the main problem at Manchester United in terms of player recruitment, their youth. He often has brought in players that are directly affecting young players trying to get in the side. Like he's bringing in world-class strikers um, when Rashford and Martial were first trying to get their footing. So it's like some of the decisions he's made in terms of the way in which they spend money has been shocking. Solskjaer, I think, has done an all right job there so far with his players. I think attacking-wise, United look decent, but there's two major issues for me. I don't think defensively he does a good job with their back line in terms of organizing. I feel like at times they're just trying to throw together a really talented back line by buying Maguire without a real strategy on how to stop teams. And then attacking wise, they, they know how to play, they know how to get after teams, they know they're dangerous, but oftentimes it seems like patterns break down. They often 
can't finish the play and actually get an, an end product. They get into dangerous areas and aren't able to be clinical enough to get off that final cross, that final shot. And those are things that I think give him a little more time to try and develop, give him the winter transfer window, see if he can make some positive changes. And if not, then I think at the summer, we're going to have to start looking. That's my take on it. Um, I, 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 definitely see, I definitely see where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. And I think in, you're right in the sense that they're starting, he implicated like he he started this this um this trend of bringing in young British players. I mean, Maguire, James, and um, Wambasaka. Maguire, yeah. James, and Wambasaka. Top two, three, top quality signings. Mm -hmm. I think young, talented, hungry, and they want to mm -hmm. play for the club. But what you talked about. United lacking that cutting edge in front of goal. We have to th we have to remember that Skullsguard was the one that said to get rid of Lukaku, he, who is, despite his many flaws, a proven striker mm -hmm. in the Premier League. I mean, yes, he's not elite. He's no Aguero. He's no Harry Kane. But he was a goal scorer. There's no doubt about that. And Skullsguard was the one that actually pushed him away and said, no, we want to go with either Rashford or Martial up front. And I'm sorry, those two guys top quality players. Marcus Rashford is a top quality player. Martial has shown glimpses of being that elite world-class um, nine, number nine, but they're not top quality finishers. And in a club like United, when, when, when you're trying to play free-flowing football, you need someone who's going to put mm. the ball in the back of the net, which is why I find the summer there were, there were talks of them approaching Mario Mandzukic, and I thought that would have been an great signing because he is someone who can just score goals mm -hmm. he is someone who he's not elite he's definitely not elite he definitely doesn't get put up there with the likes of harry kane with the likes of sergio aguero um mm -hmm. but he scores goals and he's been doing that for for many clubs all around europe at the highest level for to, a long time to counter argue that you though real quick right you talked about martial and rashford Keep, bear in mind they are in their early 20s. They are in their very early 20s. If we look at Raheem Sterling, at Liverpool, a talent. But what did we say about him? He can't finish. He can't. He's not the full package. He's never going to be. And look, at by age 24, he has turned into one of the best players in the world. A player that we would say is in the top five for the Ballon d'Or. So I think we have to give them a little more time. Obviously, Sterling, not many players evolved from where Sterling was to where he is now. And that's credit to Pep as a manager. Yeah. But if Solskjaer is what some people believe he is, a great, a great um, like he can foster uh, young attackers into being this next level player, then I think we have to give him a little more time because they still, they still are very young. Also, like you said, they were thinking about bringing in Mandzukic this summer. Let's see if maybe they go and make a move this winter to go get a, a forward because they obviously lack depth in that area and throughout their team, but specifically up top. So let's see if they go get someone and see if they can maybe change that. I, I would just say give him through the winter transfer window and into the back half of the season. That's where I stand on it, finally. I, I would say, I would say looking at that, like you're right in the sense that, you're right in the sense that he does deserve a bit of time but also, if there's a world-class manager out there, um, one, I've heard talks of the possibility of Allegri, who used to coach at um, Juventus. Mm -hmm. He's on the market, and there's possibilities of United approaching him. I just think they're not going anywhere right now, mm -hmm. and the only thing they're doing right now is regressing. And so, when you look at future summers of possible targets United have been linked with, Jadon Sancho, Declan Rice, James Madison, they're all talented players, but you can't tell me Declan Rice or James Madison mm -hmm. look at United as a better situation than where they're at now. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm James Madison, I'm in the top four right now. Mm -hmm. um, why would I go to United, who, who are struggling to even get in that top six battle. I mean, I, I honestly think James Madison, if I'm in his shoes, why would I leave Leicester for Man United mm -hmm. right now in the situation there is? You have, there has to be some incentive for players to go there because right now there's nothing, okay. right? If you bring in a, a, a talented manager, Pochettino, Allegri, um, Diego Simeone, these are all talented managers. If you bring them in, Players start to look like, okay, there's a promising manager who's proven it at the top level. Let's go. I, I, mm -hmm. I'm willing to go there. But right now, it's it, 
the Norwegian PE teacher is not going to lead them to success. Okay. All right. So you sit on sacking him immediately. Is that where you finally just as for a final stand before we move on to our next topic? Yes. Okay. And I would say give him till the end of the season. So you have our thoughts there, guys. That 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 chemistry ting. 